Thanks for watching Numbskull News. And I'm a little under the weather. My voice isn't great. I got a bunch of crud. Whatever. The weather sucks here in Texas. It's like summer won't go away, but winter's threatening. I don't know, but it's got me tore up to all the hell. Anyway, top 25, week 10 edition. Let's go. Oregon, fourth week. They're number one with 98 points. Number two. I don't give a damn what anyone says. Miami, 74 points. Nice win against Duke. Number three, Ohio State. And they had that freaking epic game against Penn State. They got the points. They move up from the 18th spot to the number three spot in the country. Ohio State with 71 points. At number four is Georgia with 69 points. Uh, they moved down one spot. That's that. That's just what happens. Ohio State jumped them. Uh, number five, SMU jumps up a lot with that win against Pitt. They were number 11. Now they're number five with 68 points. At number six, Boise State. They keep just dumping on the wins. They keep the sixth spot at, with 67 points. At number seven is Indiana with 65 points. Still undefeated and moving up in the rankings. Number eight is BYU on a bye week this week with 64 points. They moved down a little bit, but that's okay. But, you know, the Big 12, not good things happen, but BYU is still undefeated. Uh, number nine, Army with 61 points. Now, they went down a little bit, even though they won a game. You know, they're not beating ranked people. They're getting jumped. That's what happens sometimes. But a couple weeks, they got Notre Dame, who's number 10 with 58 points. If they beat Notre Dame, folks, Army is skyrocketing. Uh, number 11, Louisiana, Raging Cajuns, 52 points, holding strong. Number 12 is Tulane with 51 points. And they are up from the 21st spot, just to let you know. That's how a lot of teams lost. A lot of teams lost their ass last week. And not just in the Big 12, but everywhere. Uh, number 13, Louisville. Speaking of losing your ass, beat Clemson last week. Got some points for that. Some extra points for beating a ranked team. 50 points for them. Uh, number 14 on a bye week is Texas Still with 49 points. Still with every opportunity to move way up in this thing. Uh, number 15, Memphis. 46 points. And they are up from number 19. And at number 16 is Pitt. Now, they they were number 13. They dropped to number 16. It's not a big drop. Even though they got stomped by SMU. Uh, SMU was ranked above them last week. So they're not going to lose... A ton of extra points. That no extra points. It's just the loss. It isn't good, but remember, Pitt's one loss, and they got a chance to do some work here at the end of the season and get back in this thing. Uh, number seventeen is Penn State, big time loss, and and look, uh, Ohio State last week, I believe. What were they? They were eighteenth in Penn State last week was uh, number five in the country. So they lost some extra points because they're losing to a team that's way further down on the top 25. But they're still there, one loss, and have a chance to get back in this thing. Uh, number 18 is Washington State on a bye week. 39 points, still there. At number 19 is Texas Tech. Huge, huge win against Iowa State. Such a big win. They knock Iowa State out of the top 25. At number 20, back in the top 25, WKU with 37 points. At 21, K-State. They fall uh, with 36 points at number 21 with that horrible loss to Houston. Uh, number 22 is Syracuse with 36 points. Back in the top 25. Also back is Ole Miss with 35 points. And back is Tennessee with 34 points. 
And even on a bye week, with all the turmoil, turmoil that has happened, Colorado keeps the number 25 spot with 33 points. All right, let's get to this overtime here. The SEC still has four teams in my top 25. Georgia at number four, Texas at 14, Old Miss at 23, and Tennessee at 24. Not great. I mean, if the playoffs of the season ended today, the SEC would have maybe one, two teams in, depending. I mean, that doesn't look good. That's not reality. We're not at the end of the season. So I'm not sitting there saying the, the SEC is only getting one or two teams. That's ridiculous. Uh, the Big Ten, much better. Uh, number one team, Oregon. Number three team, Ohio State. Number seven, Indiana. And number 17, Penn State. So the Big Ten looks great. They look great. Uh, the Big 12 don't look as good, but they still got the number 8 team in BYU, number 19, Texas Tech, 21, Kansas State, and 25 is Colorado. The ACC, they keep getting like five teams in this bitch. They, they keep getting them, in, getting them in. Don't know what to tell you. Number 2, Miami. Number 5, SMU. Number 13, Louisville, right there at the cusp. Uh, 16, Pitt, and 22, Syracuse. The Mountain West, they well, they got Boise State. They're doing, that's all they got. Everyone, The rest of the Mountain West ain't great. I'm just saying. It's not, not a good conference this year. Uh, the PAC has Washington State, number 18. The American, now there's a conference. There's a G5 conference to be proud of. Uh, number nine. Army, 12, Tulane, and 15, Memphis. And the Sun Belt has a team, Louisiana, of course, number 11. Uh, team USA, they got WKU back in there. And Notre Dame, of course, is number 10. So that's the breakdown there. I think you can say right as of right now, as of after week 10, the Big 10, is even though the ACC has more teams, the Big 10 is just, you know, they're killing it in my top 25 using my point system. All right. The SEC, they can get all their teams right back into the mix. The ACC, they have two outstanding teams, and we'll see what happens with the other three. Uh, the Big 12, it's going to be tough. Kansas State, Iowa State, someone's just going to have to win Farmageddon and get into the Big 12 title game against BYU. That's what's going to have to have to happen, or or Kansas State and uh, Iowa State lose more games before Farmageddon, and then Colorado slides up in there. So a little rough, a little rough for the Big Twelve, but we're not out of it yet. We still may get a couple teams in the playoffs, despite what anyone may say. Anyway, thanks for watching this crap, and I'll be back with some more crap later. Bye.